Okay, if yours was all, if yours was all up, this back to a bit old and getting hot, that bloody split the top open there. Jizzed all over the circuit board in my EPS. It wasn't until I moved the EPS, I was tilted it a little bit to get the uh, screws underneath it. And now I'm spat in the circuit board. I pulled the plug out quick. A bit of corrosion acid on my 555 timer. There you go, eh? It's the 555 timer to generate the uh, sine wave. It's the 555 timer, the Zener diode, and the jumper. I've got a bit of corrosion on it. But I sprayed it with a contact cleaner and gave it a good dust off for compressed air to fix that. I ripped the plug out quick and turned the power on my face out. She made a bit of a burning spell and beeped at me like crazy. But um, it actually blew up this trace here. But I can fix that. The uh, transistors doesn't seem to have a hole on it or anything. I can get new ones anyway. They'll be cheap enough anyway. Actually, for it to blow like that, that must have been a bad solder joint. Hmm. It's the uh, excuse to fan, it's a bit hot. I actually really soldered that, that got actually hot. Because it did stop the, uh, the inverter kept working, but the pair mains failed. And it wasn't working properly, the light on the front panel didn't respond to anything. I'm going to fix that and see if this thing actually works again. Hopefully, hopefully it will. Because there's actually no fuse on this board here. This model doesn't have a fuse on it. There's your relays. The main relay there. But there's no fuse on this board. The um, MGE UPS and the other um, Sokamek and Netus model has a fuse on the board. This doesn't have a big fuse on it. Anyway, I'm going to re-solder that and uh, give it a test of that battery. Oh, that's sort of made it well. Yeah, just because I passed the mega test, I don't even test it for a short to earth. There's actually a pop in the windings, but um, either way, I've got to get the parts off this motor. You want a popped winding there, blue like a fuse. I could um, dig them out and solder them up and insulate it again. I might do that, that's a, a Rhinoa super genius kind of idea actually. <laughs> Pretty creative. Yeah, that's just bloody the insulation failed and there's so much current there, it just popped like a fuse, it's melted. Yeah, three wires there. One wire there is blown. Completely out. Blown up there and it goes down to here. Pretty serious blow out there. I might be able to get all this out the road and just have a look. We can unpick it all and undo it all. There the way it's just toast. But I got the terminal block. Get some other goodies off this motor. Might even pop the stator assembly out and just uh, leave it hollow. Make something else out of it. Shame it's too small. If it was a big, large four, uh, 10 or 20 horsepower, 30 kilowatt, certainly even for the forklift, I could uh, make a barbecue out of it. That'd be nice. I've seen V8 barbecues. How about a big electric motor barbecue? That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, fix this UPS up. I'll give you a, quite a close look at the battery, but yeah, it's um, amazingly still holds. Uh, 12 volts, hasn't dropped the cell, but current wise, there's bugger all. As soon as I turn the uh, test of this thing, there's nothing. It was only a month ago, there was a 160 core cracking amp, now it's only 2 core cracking amp. The uh, acid trip rewritten the cells and put in the acid and it, it fixed it. I got some uh, life out of it, but it's a bit hit and miss when you do that. But it was still worthwhile doing. It got me some uh, out of trouble. Twelve point two volts, half an ohm, four cold cranking amp. They're still holding twelve volts. We haven't dropped the cell. Give it a close look. See, that's all puffed. Jeez, they're all puffed. Look at that melt of that plate. Yeah. The uh, 
she, um... Blue to Yano plate said to dispatch you right out of its arsehole. Like that one here did. It's cooked the anodes. You usually, when that happens, batteries are at the end of its service life. I mean, it is 2007. That's a very old battery. They've done pretty well, though. It was worthwhile, uh, as I said, worthwhile revitalising it, letting the plate to that certain reforming it. It did get me out of trouble for quite a while, up until today. But yeah, that's the main reason why I changed it, it was getting hot, so just... You can see it did a bit of uh, staining in here. Yeah. It's not good for the capacitors if your batch is hot like that. There's a 105 degree Celsius caps, but yeah. I keep monitoring my UPSs, so if I start getting normally hot, it's time to change the battery. It's a good rule of thumb. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing repaired. We'll fix that trace up and see where we go from there. Hopefully, we haven't damaged any other components on this board. Yeah, uh, that's a, just uh, on that 555 timer. It still works. I just, yeah, I just uh, turned it off and ripped the cord out of the socket quickly. Uh, I'll just wash the acid off the can, uh, casing, clean it, dried it off for the air. That's why the air compressor's going. Um, well, the, uh, I just put the battery and I was about to get the camera out. It worked as normal for about a minute or so, then bang, this other uh, UTC trench just went bang. Yeah, so the one I fixed was fine, but it killed that other one, it did it damage the other one. So this one is damaged. So it did damage the UPS after all, the battery. Um, UTC, it's 100 NO3L. O one O A A N. So I've got to get some of those off eBay. Need a transistor that actually switch the um. They do the main heavier work. They they're driven by the five 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 timer. And those transistors actually switch the uh to square wave being a five 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 timer, and that drives that transformer with AC using the full current of the uh, of the SLA battery. It's actually some acid down there. Ooh, we gotta clean that. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix this. This uh, this should be pretty cheap anyway. Things like that on eBay are usually pretty damn cheap. I'd order a new set and we go from there. Because if one of those blew to trace, it would have damaged damaged it from that. It was a nice pop. Hmm. Anyway, we'll get a blown one. So we'll try and fix it there. Looks easy enough to fix this one. Worst case scenario, some surface mount components that are not replaceable have been damaged. Um, I just means I'll uh, end up with another UPS transformer to play with. But I'll try and save this UPS. They are quite handy to have. Anyway, I'll pull this all apart again, and I'll uh, get that circuit board out. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Pops and bangs. Couldn't get it done camera, unfortunately. Bad battery. Still a bloody form. There you go. That was fine on the MGE UPS, and thank God I go down to that before I died. The Seikamak one, oh, I cooked it. So I guess the, uh, I guess these UPSs will have the same thing that eating the parcel uh, UPSs doing. They cook the bloody battery for breakfast. Could have cooked a pork roast in this bloody thing. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.